Sunday everyone so as you can see I'm outside uh, it's about 10 o'clock and I'm going to the car to get my spare shades because today is pool day usually pag Sunday we're at the pool kasi ay, um, because it's quiet walang construction and it's been fairly warm recently I don't know I thought summer I, mean, I guess it I guess we're still in summer that's why I never know what the seasons are anymore um, global weirding but yeah so we are going to hit the pool it's just the four of us today the two humans and the two dogs Hi, Walton. Good time. okay and Let's see if oh, we just get the key. So, yeah, so kami lang. Quiet. The village is fairly quiet. You can see. Beautiful day there. Um, say good morning. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Walton's in his outside bed. Um, so, yeah, very chill. very chill Sunday and I have voila superstar <laughs> um, we have I have sort of beef caldereta in the instant pot I will not claim it's caldereta the one dish that I have never been good cooking or not good, but I can follow recipes, even though I hate following recipes and just use them as a guideline. The one cuisine, which sucks because it's probably my favorite cuisine, that I'm not very confident making is Filipino food. Because probably I compare it to the food, the taste of when I was growing up or how my mom makes it or... So I always <laughs> say that it's not really Filipino food. So I have a version of caldereta. I said we had caldereta when we were at the beach in... Zambales a few days ago and it's been a while which really surprised me that I had beef caldereta uh, because I don't know why I don't know why it's been a while but I actually like it it's one of my comfort foods so yeah let's see how this turns out I'm putting it in the instant pot sort of the set it and forget it mode parang dung when we're still working um, yeah uh, what's happening all right Hi, Tex! So this is the routine. Ryan cleans their faces every morning. And Stag takes it pretty well. But the little one, Walton. Are you afraid? You don't want your face clean. <laughs> he's still a little... I don't know what he's afraid of. Because we have to put eye drops on Walton and not so much Staggy. So I think that's what he's afraid of. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, oh, by the way, if you notice the bamboo that's outside here, you see that? That covers the deep end of the pool. They're all tied together with rope. I don't know if you can see it. They're all tied together with sort of rope in the end. And that is our matawag, our dog safety. <laughs> when we're not paying attention to them because they walk on the side there and sometimes it rains you know they might slip or something and they're bulldogs so they won't swim and the good part about that is that when we want to swim which i think is the first time we're going to try it is just roll up the bamboo and put it to the side so we're going to do that need onions garlic tomatoes tomato sauce, a nice red bell pepper, a couple of potatoes, a couple of carrots, some liver spread, yes, I said liver spread, 
and a beef broth. You will see some of my vegetables here are a little bit probably on the close to expiration side of it, but it's your kitchen, right? I'm sure we're not throwing out vegetables that aren't perfect and we kind of use what we have in the fridge. It's just whatever in your fridge, don't go out for a special trip. Whatever you have in your fridge, let's make something out of it. And we are not chefs, we are not in a cooking school, we are not in a restaurant. We are at our own home, so as long as it's still good and it doesn't smell funky, I say use it. Let's have some red onions. We use a lot of red onions here in the, in the Philippines. Cooking on our own, just chop that up. So there's that. So there's your holy trinity. Just move that aside. Put to our bell pepper. These are the nice American bell peppers that we get when you come here. You'll find some which are totally fine. sweet. But that's just go with that. So, Let's get the instant pot ready. Okay, once the instant pot is on hot, we put a little bit of oil. This is leftover oil from making french fries last night. Like I said, Dirty Kitchen Island, anything goes. So once it's hot and we have a little bit of oil in there, we're gonna sear the meat. So here's the meat that I'm gonna use, just small cubes that really you can get anywhere, cheap cut of meat. And yes, this is an old ice cream tub that my mom has a collection of and that you will soon learn Filipino moms never throw away anything. So let's just dump it in there. While that's going, we are going to put salt. Never under salt meat, that is disgusting. Pepper. Okay, so that's a little bit brown. Ready? Let's get the other ingredients. We are going to chuck in the holy trinity of cook Filipino cooking. Tomatoes, onions, garlic, just chuck it all in there. All right, so that's in. Let's get that sauteing for a bit. Comes to a little cover. You cover that up. Okay, so a few minutes have passed. Can hear it faintly sizzling. The saute function in the instant pot obviously doesn't work as well as if you do it stovetop, but again, this is the less hassle version of cooking. Put the red bell peppers in. Let's put the potatoes in. Let's put the carrots in. Mix it all up. Obviously, you have to put liquid in it. Tomato sauce, just pour it in there. So this is a great example because I ran out of tomato sauce um, in the pantry and what I do have is tomato paste. So we sort of just make do with what we have. Mix in a little bit more water. Up a cube of beef cube. Normally, I'll use beef broth but sometimes beef broth is hard to find here or there's really no use for it. So everybody just uses bouillon. So when in Rome, we have a couple more ingredients to go. So you see, it's not hard to make. You just put everything in a pot. Like even clearing up is super easy. Ah. Growing up, I would have liver spread in between uh, white bread, which I love. So that's what it looks like right now. Kind of still looks like stew. It's beef stew. Let's cover up. 
seal and pressure cook uh, about 35 minutes, sounds about right. And there you have it. All right, so we have the stew in the Instant Pot. It, like, I, I will say this again, you do not need an Instant Pot to make this dish. Low flame on top of your stove, leave it there. It's gonna take the same amount of time until the beef is tender. Um, and that's it. There's really nothing much to clean. It may be the knives and the cutting board, but you know that's a big part of when we were working is because I didn't want to do dishes. <laughs> Neither did Ryan. Even if you had a dishwasher, you still have to empty the damn thing. So even though um, we're not working anymore, that's still in the back of my, my head of, of doing dishes or whoever's doing dishes, just hate doing dishes. So um, it's about 10 o'clock. I will check that once the pressure, actually I don't even have to check it. Once the pressure cooker is done with its timer, it just um, manually releases the steam and then I can just saute if it's too hard, still, the meat is not tender enough. Um, and that's more than enough time for, for lunch. So in the meantime, I shall sunscreen and lather because sunscreen is very important before you go to the pool and enjoy a good Sunday. Alexa, pause. So Ryan put a new water, uh, pool filter. And I'm not pushing, so you can see my legs are there with Ryan. Um, I'm just letting the, the jet, if you want to call it, cut, push me around. And I get seasick fairly quickly. I don't know how long this is going to go before I'm going to need a drama me, but it's just swishing me around. Okay, cool. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but... Hi, Walton. Uh, Stag. So Stag isn't sure if he wants to get in the water or not. We've sort of taught him that he can be in the shallow end, but I think he's still a little afraid. Hi, huh, Staggy. Hi, Tug Tug. But it's, what time is it? 11? 10.30. It's about 10.30. This part of the pool still has sun because, so that's where Ryan is, the deep end, shallow end, because he refuses to put sunblock. There's the house, our neighbor. I think they're almost done, but that's blocking most of the sun. We get maybe, I don't know, what, two hours, four hours of sun in the pool. Yeah, so this shallow end, we get about four hours, which is, I guess, fine. I probably shouldn't be in the sun too long. There's Walton inside. He, he wait, sorry. Come back, come back. Ah, wait, the whirlpool. There's Walton inside. He's afraid that if he comes out, we're gonna force him to come into the water. So he doesn't wanna come out now. But, silly dog. Um, but yeah, this is sort of this is pool day Sunday, just a little bit quiet because it's just the two humans and the two dogs. And there's no construction, correct. But the house itself is pretty quiet because it's just the two of us. So yeah, uh, and on Sundays we sort of eat whenever we want to. There's no sort of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We usually have like late lunches. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, you're planning a margarita run in a couple of weeks. Oh, sorry, a pina colada run yeah. in a couple of hours, an hour. Well, like 15 minutes. In 15. Minutes. <laughs> if I can't be in the shade, I gotta do the pina coladas. Just put sunblock. Yeah, but 
imagine how sticky you get when you have skin cancer. I'm doing one on this side and then I'm going to go over here. I used to do a boy. See, Walton's sleeping inside. You want to sleep inside? Or there in your bed? So when it's cold day, breakfast. Well, no, we actually had breakfast. We had quick um, French toast, eggy bread. But drinks is a margarita. Pina colada. I don't know why I keep saying margarita. <laughs> no, I don't even like margarita. It's the one with tequila, right? Um, we have soda alarm. Mm. So the weather right now is what? 80... So it's about 87 right now. And the water temperature is 80 on the dot. And the water temperature is 80 on the dot. So perfect for pina coladas. Give me a brain freeze. So here you have it. It's been sort of stewing for three hours now. So the meat is nice and tender. The vegetables are nice and tender. Oops. Um, if you don't want it the soupy, you can certainly reduce the sauce. But give it a taste. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. Down on top of a bit of rice, and you get lunch. Make sure you're picking up all. So there you have the finished product of uh, sort of beef <laughs> stew, but not really Filipino style. Um, and it's really to taste, right? Um, uh, the last three hours I was testing for the saltiness. If you want any more salty, just add more salt. If you don't, don't. Um, you're cooking for yourself and for your family. So whatever floats your boat is what works. So we're just heating up some rice and this will be lunch this Sunday. Uh, thanks for joining and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.